Um, welcome to this episode of Inside My Pen Case. I'm really excited to be doing this Inside My Pen Case today with Leanne Cho. Hi. Hi. Um, so Leanne is actually a great customer of ours. <laughs> I spent way too much money. <laughs> um, but also, I, I remember like meeting you in the store, and it's so special because I feel like back in back in like the Sunnyside store mm -hmm. which you never went to no. like I got to know so many people there because mm -hmm. that's what I did like all day long and there were no customers so mm -hmm. I really got to like to know people really well and I don't always get the opportunity to do that anymore mm -hmm. like I don't have the luxury of just like leaning into a conversation with somebody and just getting to know them <laughs> but somehow the first time that I met you in store like I did get to know you and I got to know that you are a wonderful <laughs> children's book illustrator and you were there looking for a sailor fountain pen yes, I remember I was. and there was a whole saga with your boyfriend who had gotten you a yes. sailor fountain pen mm -hmm. um, and yeah I just fell in love with you and um, then Stop. I know I did I really did you're so funny you're so lovely you're a great person um, and yeah you're you just like you just like really stuck out to me so I knew from the first time that I met you I was like oh she's great I want to be friends with her. I can't believe I met her. Um, and I want to do Inside My Pen Case. So mm -hmm. I'm really, really happy that like, I don't know when that was, maybe like a year ago. <laughs> yeah, that was around a year ago. Yeah, that's, that's a window into my procrastination <laughs> because I've literally been saying I want to do Inside My Pen Case with Leanne for one year. <laughs> and we're finally here doing it today. Yep, yep. Look at us go. Yes. So Leanne, why don't you tell everyone a little bit about yourself, what you do? Yeah, yeah. so my name's Leanne. Um, I'm primarily an author and illustrator of picture books for children. So I've done quite a couple books. Um, here are some, many of them. Dragons, so big. Lemonade, Oz. And yeah, my new one's all about art and painting. And it's perfect for Yoseka Fly. It's I guess. so good. <laughs> Leanne is like the kindest person and oh. she has sent Jacob like oh, so yeah. many of these books mm -hmm. and he just loves reading it <laughs> so much. Like, so we, um, over the summer, we actually, um, this was a favorite of his. It began with Lemonade. And I'll show you all too. the artwork on this one. It's so good. Um, and it's about this little kid who wants to set up a lemonade stand and then there's no space on the street to set up mm -hmm. her lemonade stand because yep. it's the hottest day of the year. And she goes on this journey and has this really hard time like finding a place to put up her lemonade stand. But finally, um, she comes upon this river and the whole, like people just start coming down the river and asking for lemonade. And she starts serving up the most delicious lemonade. And it's just such a fun book for anybody who has kids, I highly <laughs> recommend. Yeah. Yeah. And like my, my favorite part of your books is that they always have like these, like the print is in different. Oh, um, like the hand lettering. Yeah, yeah. 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 I really like to hand letter a lot yeah. of the words. And so, they're kind of like all yeah. over the page. Yeah. So it's such a, it's such a mood with your book. <laughs> yeah. So. yeah. So all the covers, all the hand lettering. Yeah. I do it myself. Ah, oh, you're so good. And yeah. the kids love the books. Jacob loves the books. And, um, yeah, we made so much lemonade, and he, he's learned about lemonade. He's learned about painting and shapes from O Olive. He's learned about like aunts. <laughs> annoying aunts, <laughs> annoying aunts, and wolves from this book. Yes. Oh no, the aunts are here! Like really, these books have taught him so much about like like being funny. Because like I I feel like. <laughs> That's something that kids have to learn, right? That's it's true, like kind of like what's yeah. funny and like just the word, the mm -hmm. word funny and like laughing because mm -hmm. something is funny. Oh. Um, so these books have really given us a lot um, and they're an important part of our bedtime routine. So <laughs> I, I love you for creating oh. them. Yeah, and illustrating them. Oh, that warms my heart so much. Yes, yes. Um, they're so good. So that's how Leanne and I kind of got to know each other, yeah. but also. Um, wait, will you tell everybody the story of the pen with your boyfriend, with Adam? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is yeah. that off limits? So what happened I was love this story. he 
Well, so <laughs> I first, I actually got a Pilot Fountain, like Falcon, I think, an extra fine, because I had been using Lamy pens. Mm -hmm. And I was like, these are so fat. <laughs> and the line is so thick yeah, yeah. that like, I really wanted a thin one. So right. then I went into the store and I tried a Pilot Falcon. And I was like, ooh, this is so thin and like skinny and it's so nice to use. So then I bought that and then I used it for a week and I was like, this is too thin. Yeah. <laughs> And I regretted it. And so then I told my partner at the time, Adam, and he was like, oh, okay, then like, which one do you want? So he like sussed out that I wanted like the sailor pen instead. Yeah. So the sailor like 1911. Yeah. And so he went to the store, got me one for my birthday and he came back, he's like, here, happy birthday. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I want this one. <laughs> like, I don't know about the color and like, I'm not sure. I kind of want to test it out in the store. So then he went back and was like, oh, can I return yeah. this? And then I, then I went back to the store. We went back together. So right, right, right. We went back together and we tried out the sailor pen. I was like, oh, actually, no, I do want this one. She ended up picking up the exact one that he so picked for her. The exact one, yes. <laughs> uh, but it was a different colorway. Right, so. right, right, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I love that story and I love like how much like the effort that he went through <laughs> for the fountain pen. But it was obviously like a really good gift because you use it all the time. Yeah, the it's my main pen pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Um, so um, Leanne is obviously an artist by trade, um, right? Is that correct to say, yes. right? Um, but you also actually like enjoy drawing a lot in your own time, yes. I feel like, yeah. and it's something that I mm -hmm. see, like I follow you on Instagram. Her Instagram handle is Leanne Tomato for anybody who is curious and um, just has lots of like fun artwork that she's always posting. And even when like you travel to oh, yeah. Taiwan and mm -hmm. Japan this past year, Leanne reached out to me um, and I saw like different sketches and stuff throughout your travels mm -hmm. so um, some of which we have today some of which we have today <laughs> in this little map this little stack of sketchbooks and planners <laughs> to show you all but first I thought we would take a look at some of Leanne's favorite tools that she uses to write or to sketch with yeah. and you have brought your little yes. mesh pen case yes. here right mm -hmm. This is so cute and it's so so spacious and I recognize something on there. <laughs> yeah. That little guy. Yeah, that's a Radia Robin. Yeah. <laughs> this is um by you did you know that Radia did inside my pen case with us? I know, I've seen oh, it. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So um, this is by a previous Inside My Pen Case mm -hmm. alum, Radia. I and think you can buy these in the store. You can, yeah. you can, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Radia's so great. Mm -hmm. um, so tell us about your pen case. Yeah, so this is one from Muji. I think I got this like six years ago. Um, wow, it's, it's in pretty, really it's in pretty good shape them. for six years. Yeah, so usually I like, I, I'm like more into just like minimalist style, not, nothing too like fancy or anything. Yeah. So I wanted one that's just like easy to take care of, easy to clean, um, and like won't get dirty <laughs> pretty much because I'm really messy. Uh, this is a pin from Lucky Pocket Press. Um, they're like an independent It's so press. cute. I know. Oh, is that a little change purse? I think so. I yeah. thought it was a dumpling before when I first <laughs> saw it. It does look like, like a dumpling. Yeah. Those are both great things mm -hmm. to be. Uh, this is a this is like a little good luck charm I got in Japan when I was there earlier this year. Cute. I think it's supposed to like make my dreams come true. Is so. it from one of the temples? It is from I one of the one temples. I have one of those on my keychains mm -hmm. too, and I didn't realize, but Neil said it's the one to get rich. <laughs> 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 I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I also gave one to Adam and oh. he, he like lost it immediately. <gasps> so. Is that bad luck? <laughs> I hope you'll be okay. Uh, yeah, and so inside, this is kind of what I would bring if I'm like traveling. Usually if I'm going about day to day, I just bring one pen with me because oh. I like to carry light. Really yeah, like carry that makes sense. Things. That makes sense. Um, so in here, should I like lay it out? Yeah. So we have my watercolor, my travel watercolor. Um, it's just like a little kit. I've got like paper towel in the middle. So then I use this little like travel pen. And so I like the paper towel because then when you're like painting and you want to clean it, you can just use that. Mm. Clean your brush. Yeah. Jewelry. So that's the little like travel kit I bring around if I'm going anywhere like pretty or 
that I just want to paint, and that's what I bring. But it doesn't go around with you like every single no. day. Oh, and you're a fan mm -hmm. of this guy. I've heard mixed things. Like people, some people do like this portable pocket brush. Yeah, this is, I actually have been using another one. This is, my other one's like really beat up, so I didn't want to bring oh, it in because yeah. it looked really gross. <laughs> So this is what I did buy. I don't know if I'm still debating whether or not I like the brush head for this one. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. But I do like these for everything I did in those notebooks that we're gonna see. I oh, use okay. Yeah. Okay. It's You just have to get like the hang of it pretty much. Mm. Um, so then I also have, I have these. Uh, those are fun. Clean color dots. Yeah, markers. the dot markers. Yeah, I love these for my planner. It's just really fun because they've got the oh. they've got like the little end. I do have a little pad of paper here to show. Yeah, so th I like these a lot. They also come in like the cutest colors. And so there's there's like a thick end, and you can do dots. So I like using like this for cheeks or something. And then, oh. And then there's like a thin end too, which is nice for lining and like writing. So I like these three. I like the colors. They're like a little different than just like regular highlighters or yeah. regular marker colors. Yeah. I, I saw flipping through your books earlier. Mm -hmm. I feel like I saw a lot of those colors yeah. come into some of the pages. Mm -hmm. Cool. So you use these for, for lots of different things, it sounds like. Yeah. For adding like pops of color, mm -hmm. but also for like tracking the mm -hmm. dots and things like that. Yeah. Right? Very nice. What uh, else? Then when it comes to found pens, Actually, these are the main three. three. Okay, so that this I is use. the Adam pen. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Sailor 1911S, mm -hmm. and then this is a Twisby Eco, mm -hmm. and this is Fude, Sailor Fude de yes. Yes. Cool. So what do you use each one for? And what yeah. are the different nib sizes? Yeah. I'm curious. So this is an F, like you said. Um, sorry, it's kind of dirty, but I really like the, I just like the clear ones. I feel like mm. it's so cool to see everything inside. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is like, this is the thin one. And usually I use this for my smaller notebooks. Um, so like the ones we're going to see today. Yeah. And so it's just nice for like little drawings. This is just like a big character. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I'm it's seeing how I some like, live, <laughs> live artwork. It's so amazing. <laughs> but yeah, this is also what like, these markers are nice because you could just give her a little- Oh no, I got some black on it. But it's oh, cool. that's okay. And then for this Twisby Echo- Wait, that was- that's just like so cute right there. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Twisby Echo. This is in a medium nib, I think. Um, so I've been having like wrist issues from drawing too much. Uh -huh. um, so I wanted a thicker, like a little bit smoother pen. Oh, okay. And so this is like a really thick one. I don't know what I'm drawing. And yeah, so I like it because it's like really thick. And it's really chunky. It's so very cute. smooth. Wait, so what ink? So I, this is just black ink that you mainly use. Yeah, so I just use black ink because I don't really like switching inks around. It's mm. like you have to like wash the nib and everything. Mm -hmm. and like, so I just use this is platinum carbon. Oh, this ink. is carbon black. Yeah, this okay. is the carbon black ink. Like the waterproof ink. Yeah, because yeah. I use a lot of watercolor, so then I feel like this is, I've used like noodlers before, yeah. but I felt like that took forever to dry. To dry. And oh. it wasn't as black, like this, this one is like, this ink is like super dark. Did you know that Platinum recently came out with something called Cho Kudo, which is supposed to be darker than that, and it like, oh yeah, they did like a darkness test, they were really like, uh -huh. you, you can get really nerdy about darkness. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, there's like this machine that measures how much light something reflects yeah and so they made it like even darker wow. and like even more pigmented that i guess sounds so sexy yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so sexy okay <laughs> yeah sexy in mm -hmm. the world of stationery yeah is, like, oh yeah ultra black <laughs> Ultra black. It's hard to come by. Yeah. It's like, also very waterproof. But you do watercolor over yes. the platinum carbon black and you can attest to its waterproofness. Yes, we'll see, we'll see in a bit. Yeah. Cool. And then lastly, I have this one I picked up recently, the Sailor Food Day. Mm -hmm. I like this one because it's like, this is really great for like quick sketching. So oh. like, and like drawing big. I was just using this the other day to like draw a bunch of dragons for like kids. So it's like, just it's so really casual. nice because it's very, it's sort of like a brush, but it has like a little more control compared to That's exactly what it's supposed to be. Yeah, because it's like, I feel like with a brush, I don't really like using a brush because there's like too much like variation in the line. Yeah. 
think this is running out of ink actually. But, but for this, it's like, it's nice because then you can get really, and you can like get, flatten it out and get a lot of dark, thick lines. Oh my or God. Or you can have thin lines. Yeah, I love I it. I can't believe you can just do that, Leah. <laughs> That's a dragon. That's so cute. Dragon. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cool. Okay, so you think these three fountain pens mm -hmm. are your um, yes. main fountain pens yes. that you mainly use. Mm -hmm. And I like that you have like a fine nib and like a more dynamic nib yes. and then a medium nib yes. too. Yeah, hmm. I think that's the good combo for me. But hmm. but the medium nib is only like because you 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 think it like helps your wrist. I think I think it's maybe smoother. it might also be because the pen is like a little bit fatter, mm, easier to grip mm -hmm. on. Versus like this one. Mm. Yeah, and I think because it's thicker, then I have to move my arm more, and yeah. I'm not just like ee, and then yeah, like, hurts my wrist. Oh, yeah. interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so these are the fountain pens, and you mm -hmm. mainly draw with fountain pens. Yeah, I mainly just use fountain pens mm -hmm. when I'm working in like notebooks or sketchbooks. I don't really like using pencil and stuff, I feel like. Mm. I don't know. I just like being, uh, actually, well, actually, I do know. It's because when I was 10 years old, I saw the artist, Swedish artist, Mattias Adolfsson. Okay. And he does all of his drawings in fountain pen with like no underlay sketches just in a sketchbook, and then I was like, I'm gonna do that. When you were 10? <laughs> oh my god, your dream came true. <laughs> so I trained myself to like only draw in pen and like not like have to like go back and erase stuff. And wow. so I've just been doing that since then, yeah. I also what? don't like when it smudges, so like, I don't know, maybe I'm a little Pencil? OCD. Yeah. <laughs> But sound pen smudges, <laughs> doesn't it? That's well, I have my tricks. Bad. I have my tricks. Yeah. Oh my god, mm -hmm. that's so funny. You are you're such a headstrong ten year old. <laughs> you're like, I'm only gonna. I'm a serious yeah. artist. I'm mm -hmm. only gonna draw ten. Yeah. It's like I'm gonna be just like him. Yeah. So. Actually, the pilot Falcon that I did buy and did like <gasps> was the pen that he uses. <laughs> uh, uh, wait. Oh my god, really? That is the pen he uses. So I was like, I'm gonna get the same pen he got because he does such good work. Yeah. But it wasn't right for me. Too so. soft. Too soft, too thin, and mm. like, I think I like a more, like a pen that's more fixed and not as like much variance, like a flex right. nib. Like yeah. a flex nib a flex is hard nib. to control. Yeah, it's not really for me. Right, okay, interesting. Yeah. Cool, um, what other pens do you have? And we have a few uh, more pens yeah, in this little just, guy. Some, just these are some miscellaneous ones. Uh, I have some washi tape that I sometimes keep. I have Cute. a little like clipper that I also got from Yoseka. Wow. And then some washi tape, should I pull it out? I really like this tape. Yeah, sure. Brilliant. It's yeah. so cute, I love a die cut washi tape. I know, and I love when it's got like a white background, so it kind of just looks like a drawing. On wow, the look at what Leanne has made, a little artist collage, <laughs> a dragon smelling, stopping and smelling the flowers, <laughs> with some kids riding behind. <laughs> some floating heads. Yes, some floating yes. heads. Yes, um, I brought one pencil. I just like the way this pencil looks. Um, the mechanical pencil that looks like a wooden yes. pencil. It's the Oto, I think? Oto yeah, Oto. Oto. I think I want to get the, they have a thick version. I they think. do have yeah. a thick one. That, that might help your one. wrist mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, I haven't been using this because it's it's just too thin. Mm. The thick one is also 2.0 lead. Ooh, fancy. Yeah. Um, and my favorite eraser, I love these like Pentel. Oh, erasers. you're the second person to say that. Yeah, yeah. it's great because it's like you can get like the corners, right? And you can get the whole thing, right? And they're refillable. Mm -hmm. You can get the refills for them yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Did and you get that one in Taiwan? I did get this. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you sell these in the store? We sold them in the store briefly because a customer, a Taiwanese customer, <laughs> asked us to because uh -huh. it was her favorite eraser. Yeah, it and is the best. Way. Nobody else bought it, just her. So. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys stock it. We might still have like five of them or something because <laughs> nobody else ever bought it. <laughs> you can well, ask me yes. next time you run can, out of your eraser. I can <laughs> attest that they are great. Yay, yeah, that's great. Um, um, I just have. I love these. I just have a ruler that I use in my planner. I think I got this in Taiwan because it's got Taiwan inches on it and then also. American inches. I what think. do you mean Taiwan inches? Yeah, for some, I think Taiwan inches is three around three centimeters. Wait, stop! It's I've never slightly, heard that in my life. It's slightly longer than like an American inch, which I think Wait. is like two point something no centimeters. No way! Do they actually measure stuff like that in Taiwan? I'm not sure. Usually, we just use centimeters in Taiwan. So right, Taiwan. But yeah, inches. I'm from Taiwan. 
Taiwan. Oh, right. So. Leanne is from Taiwan. Yes. Um, we have you ever been to the US in Taiwan? I have not because it's kind of far away from, it's from Yeah, you know, Where are you from? Um, I'm from Taizong. Okay. Yeah, yeah it is far because Taizong is in the middle of the yeah. island and then um, Yoseka is all the way up north. Yeah. Yeah. One day. I'll make I have it to up. ask Neil about these Taiwan inches. <laughs> I have to Google this. Yeah, I have a big ruler too that has Taiwan inches, and sometimes I'll be measuring stuff and I'm like, ah, oh, crap, I used the wrong Taiwan side. Taiwan inches? Yeah. It's like a little longer. Like it's only Taiwan? I'm not sure. Maybe it's like Chinese inches. I'm not sure. I've never looked it up. I'm dead. That's great. Because <laughs> this is slightly longer than an inch. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's <laughs> so funny. Now you know. But this ruler has it all. I so, think so, yeah. That's good. I think this is American. I think it's slightly. Yeah, this is slightly shorter than the other side. Yeah, but you mainly just use this as a straight edge. I just use it as a straight edge. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, this is uh, a nifty little yeah. flat ruler. Yeah. Yeah. Then lastly, I also have a parallel pen, but I don't use this as much, especially since I got the Sailor Fude. Yeah. Yeah. So this is like similar vibes as well. Hmm. And I have like different sizes of this. This is mm. the thinnest one. Oh, you have the different sizes. Yeah, I do. I have a problem. I'm addicted to buying pens and <laughs> stationery. So <laughs> Yoseka is very dangerous for me. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> That's everything. Okay, cool. Thank you for showing us inside your pen case, Leanne. Mm -hmm. How fun. Oh, wait, what sharpener do you use? Oh, yeah. This is a sharpener. I got this in Japan as well. As you can tell, I went on a big shopping trip in Japan. This is the Keizul Multi Sharpener. This is also in your oh. in your pen case. Oh. oh. There we go. Yeah, I use it for colored pencils mostly, which I did bring with me. Oh, yeah, because I do see the little mm -hmm. colored pencil shavings in Yeah, there. I like this one because you can... You can adjust, like, if you want your tip to how be, sharp. like, yeah, how sharp it is. Right. And then it also has a little, like, push here. Mm -hmm. And so if your lead gets stuck, you can, like, push, and then it'll, your lead will pop out. Yeah, we have this one, and it took me, um, I believe it took me, like, a good 30 minutes to figure out this sharpener the first time <laughs> we got it. Because <laughs> there's, like, two other, that are, two other sharpeners that are, like, released by the same company and they oh, all do different yeah. things. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's very confusing. Interesting. <laughs> cool. What was your favorite stationery store to shop at in Japan? I think it was actually it was actually an art store. So there's a huge art store in Japan. I think it's called Sakaido. Oh. I spent so much money. That's where I got the sharpener as well. Oh, I spent we didn't so much money. Get to go there. Yeah, oh. uh, so like my watercolor brand that I really like to use is called Holbin and they're a Japanese brand. So I bought so many paints. I bought like bags of paints because really? they're way cheaper yeah, than, okay. than like here. Yeah. So I bought so many and like so many colored pencils. Like, <gasps> yeah, it was heaven. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Fun stationery and art shopping <laughs> in Japan is really oh, very dangerous. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I left a lot of space in my suitcase though. That's good. That's I was good. ready. I was prepared. Yeah, when we went, um, we had to buy a suitcase to come back. <laughs> and the whole time, I was like, I don't think, like, I'm not going to buy anything. <laughs> like, I don't need anything. Like, I generally mm -hmm. am pretty minimal. But yeah. um, then we had to buy a suitcase somehow. <laughs> it's okay. It's related to work. You know? Yeah. It's like work research. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, thank you so much for showing us your yes. pens and your tools. I love, I love seeing how artists and different people use some of the different um, stationery that they use and even just like what you choose to bring around. So you mentioned that this pen case is more of a, you know, if you're traveling, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. What would you, if you could choose just like one pen that you normally draw oh, yeah. with, like when usually, you go? Usually I just have this one. I just have my Sailor. My trusty oh, Sailor. the Sailor mm -hmm. 1911 S. Because mm -hmm. yeah. usually if I'm traveling, I are kind of small and yeah. so I kind of like having a thin line. Okay. Oh and then I have a question like do you have to wash out your pens a lot using like that carbon black ink mm. in a fine fine nib? Actually no I think I use it enough that you it use it often. Yeah I use it most like pretty much every day or every other day wow. so it doesn't really ever get clogged. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. That's great to know. Thank you. So next up, we have some little planners <laughs> and sketchbooks that Leanne brought. So why don't we start off with these adorable little travel sketchbooks, I'm yes. guessing? Because yes. they're so pocket-sized. Yeah, so both of there's... This one is a travel log handbook sketchbook. So this is more for 
Um, if I'm going out and I know it's going to be like really pretty and I want to like do a lot of painting mm -hmm. and like recording, um, then usually I'll use this sketchbook. Mm. Um, this sketchbook here is the Traveler's Notebook. Mm -hmm. and this is passport size. Um, this is more for like if I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a lot of drawing, because mm -hmm. it's a little lighter and like, and the paper is a little thinner, so it's more for like note taking or like really quick stuff. Let's start with this one. Okay, so this is the travel one. Um, it's a nice green. Um, I like this paper because it's very, it's oh. very thick. So here's some pigs. some pigs I painted. This is with gouache. Um, and it like doesn't show through anything. You should make pink stickers. I'm going to. You are? <laughs> I will. Okay. Yeah. You should. Like, I, would, I want like a sticker sheet with like 20 of these pigs. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I started the sketchbook when I was going back to Taiwan earlier this year. Um, and also I did a little Japan trip when I was in Taiwan, so mm -hmm. this is the one I brought. And so a lot of my travel sketches in Japan were done in here. So all of this like watercolor, this is with the little kit. And the little palette, the, yeah. wow. And the the brush that Ooh, I Oh, I know what that is! That's the little candy! Yeah, it's the little cookie it's thing! It's so good! Oh, I want one right mm -hmm. now. Oh my god, it's such a good depiction. <laughs> yeah, all of this is with the sailor pad. Wow! So yeah, I just had like a little. This is with the sailor pen. Yeah, so That's this is really all with fine. The mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Uh, and then we went to like a nice dinner. So I did some drawing with the chef. Like this was the restaurant. So it's super waterproof, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah it's very ink. waterproof. Yeah. And then this was. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Uh, Kyoto. Fushini I don't know. Yeah. 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 In Kyoto. My sister was like trying to take a photo of it. She was waiting for all of the people to pass. Um, and then I just stood there and drew it. She's like, oh, I guess that's easier. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> well, if you're you, <laughs> not for anyone else. <laughs> I went to the, I think this is the Traveler's The Traveler's store. Factory, mm -hmm. yeah. And then oh, just I going around, a little painting. This is just all with watercolor. Um, this was a, store at Koso. I think you guys stock some of their things. Yes, we yeah. do. And yeah. I bought some like paints there. Oh, I didn't it's know they had cute. a little store scam. Yeah. I'm jealous I didn't get that. <laughs> it's so cute. Uh, here's a drawing that didn't work out because <laughs> sketchbooks can be ugly. <laughs> uh, there was like a cocktail bar. So I was drawing the cocktail bartender. Um, wow. This was in Kyoto. So I was just like drawing this oh on the side God, of the stream. You're so good. <laughs> I think this is a sweet shop. Yeah, it's a sweet shop that a lot of people are lining up for. Mm. Uh, this is the bar. More, more, more stamps. Gotta use all the stamps. And um, there is still some like note taking in here. Yeah. And then this was a temple in Kyoto. Yeah. Ooh, that's so good. Yeah, I really like this one. I like the way this came out. Oh, I I miss those big lanterns. <laughs> like they have the most ginormous lanterns at those temples in Japan. More notes. Yeah, and then we went to New Zealand as well because I grew up in New Zealand. Oh. And so we did a short like New Zealand trip. Oh, wow. With my family. Uh, I don't think I drew a lot in this notebook during that, but we were in the forest. So much nature there, right? Yeah. And then portrait. And this is like back in New York. Museum sketches. Yeah. Wow, that's so good. Oh, what's that? Oh, yeah, then I went to Hawaii. Wow, I know, I did so a lot of traveling this year. I'm so tired. <laughs> we went to Hawaii. It was, my, it was Adam's dad's birthday, so oh. we we're out there for his 50th birthday. Wow, I feel like I'm at the pool, you guys. <laughs> like, that is such a life. It should be like a yeah. big poster. So, this was with the Sailor Food Day. Oh, okay. So, it's a little thicker. This is also Sailor Fude, just people at the beach. But I realize I don't really like those Sailor Fude in this book. I mm. think it's like too thick. Too thick, mm -hmm. yeah. Like it feathers a little bit. Yeah, like feathers too. This is also Sailor Fude. And then I was like, ah, I'm switching back to the Sailor. Uh huh. And so this is Sailor 1911. Just chilling at the beach. I love that. Yeah. What's the next trip you're going on? Uh, nowhere. <laughs> I'm just going to rest. You're just gonna stay at home. I'm very tired. Yeah. You should go apple picking. I just want apple picking. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, and yeah. then you can take this mm -hmm. book and we can get some autumnal sketches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm requesting. <laughs> okay, okay. okay.
<laughs> okay, um, and then in the traveler's notebook, this you said was more for like note taking yeah. with sketching a little bit. Yeah, so it's a little more uh, less stress. Um, this, the other notebook I get a little stressed using because I'm like, oh, this paper is so thick, it's so nice. It's like serious okay. sketch paper. Mm -hmm. I yeah, see. It's like serious paper. Yeah. So I've got the little clip, of course. The brass logo yes. clip. And I got this charm when I was in Japan. They have like at the Tokyo station, there's a yes. store. And it's like so hard to get to the store because it's like in the basement and it's like really convoluted. <gasps> I spent like 30 minutes walking around trying to look, to for, look the for the it? store. Oh, damn. Um, I, didn't, I didn't go to that store. We went to the other store. Right. Like the, nice the Naka yeah. Meguro store. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, the one where it's like an actual building. In the, the building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it was worth it though, because there I also got, I also got this notebook there as well. I know that one's cute. I'm yeah, I really like this one. Um, so in my travelers, I have here's a sticker of from my book. That's Olive, a character <laughs> from Mia's most recent book <laughs> that she wrote and illustrated. Yes. It just, just came out. Just came out. Mm -hmm. Please, everybody. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I have this cardboard or craft paper folder. I don't know, I'm just trying to decide what to do with this sticker. It's just a sticker. I, I love that sticker. Yeah. Um, I just did a collab with them, so if you like order my book, then you also get a print as well. Oh, it's like very ketchup and mustard. <laughs> <laughs> so pig sticker, because I love pigs. Oh, cute! Um, in the back, this is my trick for using fountain pens and everything. I've got, I cut out like a piece of blotting paper mm. to size, and so I just keep it in the back, so if I'm drawing and I need to like close my notebook, yes. I just close it and shut it. And so, yeah, this one is just a lot of... This was in some of, in Tokyo as well. Mm. So just less stress. It's a lot less pretty than yeah. the other one. It's still so pretty though. <laughs> <gasps> oh yeah, this is for my upcoming book that I'm working on. Is that secret? Space. It's okay. Okay, we can show that. Can show that. Okay. Um, yeah, this is like less, this is more like notes and sketches. I love it. So Quick these are supposed to be you? Yeah, so I like, I, I have a little <laughs> newsletter that I do where I do a lot of comics about my like life and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And so that's the character, that's me. <laughs> and that's your background, right? Is like comics stuff? Uh, or? It's illustration, but okay. I quite like doing the little comics, mm. yeah. Mm -hmm. But I draw myself as a pig because I was born in the year of the pig. So <gasps> that's oh, why I draw myself that's as why. a pig. That's so cute. <laughs> yeah. Wow, what's that? I don't know, they're just random drawings. <laughs> yeah. And then washi tape. This was in New Zealand. Just some sketches, that's my mom. So beautiful. And then, although I don't really like the watercolor on the travelers as much. Is this the watercolor refill? No, it's not. No, this is just regular paper. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but it does okay. It does, actually. it does fine, yeah. yeah. It's more the way it like behaves I and is into, but yeah. it does pretty good for what it is. Mm. Um, there's Adam. <laughs> and yeah, it's just a lot of like, this is much for like loose drawings and notes and things. Yeah. Yeah. So this is still like in Japan? Or oh, no, 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 this is back anymore. in New York. I yeah. see. This was in New York. I this see. was on the subway the other day. There was a person. There were like, like two performer. people. Yeah. There's one uh, one person on like my side of the platform who was like playing the cello, and then there was a guy on the other side who was playing a violin, and oh, they God. were doing like a duet. Together. Oh, they were doing a duet. Yeah, yeah it was really cool. Battle. It was really really nice. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, it was really enjoyable. They like stopped and everyone like clapped and everything. Wow, and, New York moments. It was a New York I moment. Love New York moments. Mm -hmm. And then cool. this is just another. Book. Pig Santa. Yeah, this was this is the notebook that came with the travelers, and I was like realizing that I didn't really like the paper in this one. Oh my god, the tiger ball. <laughs> yeah, tiger I, Neil and I want to do stuff with like Chinese medicine because like all oh. the labels are so beautiful. They are. Actually, mm -hmm. if you think about them, yeah. my dad is obsessed with mm -hmm. the green oil. Do you know the green <laughs> yeah, oil? Yeah. It's everywhere in our house, like everywhere, and he puts I on everything. It. Yeah, I like anytime it. Jacob like bumps his head, gets his ear away. <laughs> Any affliction, put the green oil on. Yeah, that would be fun. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, I realized I didn't really like the white. I feel like there was more bleeding with this white paper. Oh yeah, it is a little bit. With oh, the, so the cream you think does better? The cream, with the for some reason, does better. Like there's no bleeding here. Interesting. And it's the same pen, so. That was my discovery. If you're wondering why traveler's notebooks might bleed, huh? For me, the white paper was like not as great. Yeah, 
Cute. Okay, yeah. so those are your sketchbooks, mm -hmm. some of which have traveled the world with you, and some yes. of which just kind of, these just kind of, um, do you bring them around with you on a, on a daily basis? Like if you're going out into the city? It no, depends. Right? If I know that I yeah. might be somewhere alone, but if I'm just going mm. and I'm hanging out with friends or something, then probably I'm not. Bring them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I used to bring them everywhere and do like, oh, I'm drawing in the subway, look at me, but like now I'm tired. I'm yes. old and I'm tired, yeah, so I don't do that anymore. Ancient. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next up we have. Um, these more more of these like pocket i guess like more of your planners yeah right? this is more that we're in the planner attempt yeah, section the planner attempt do you yes. do you, are you more of a planner or a logger do you know the difference oh i i think for i think logging i end up doing more in my sketchbook in art form and so i try to log mm -hmm. which we'll talk about so yeah this is actually a techo a hobonish techo this is from last year yeah, this is from 2022. Oh, okay. And so I try to be a logger. <laughs> yeah. So a logging as in like mm -hmm. writing in what you've done that day after you've done that thing. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. yeah. I try to be like a logger planner combo in here. Okay. Um, it obviously didn't work out because I'm just not consistent as a person. Um, so here I'm like, oh, I'm going to be it's like a so logger. Cute. These are the Kuretake dot markers. Yes. I was like, I'm going to track like, oh, when I work out and like oh, my mood. My God. <laughs> like, I started out so strong. So this oh, planner is strong for the first God. three months. Then, uh, yeah, wow. then it dies off. Yeah. And then I give up. The tracking is hard. I think that's a it really hard, hard thing to keep on. Oh! <laughs> oh yeah, so I tried so to be a cute. logger. Um, just little things I did each day. Oh, May kind of does this too mm -hmm. with her um, monthly grid. She uh, draws little doodles of mm -hmm. her days. Wow, it's so cute though. Yeah, it started I, out strong. It's hard to keep up with though, isn't yeah, it? It really is. Yeah. Even though it's like not that big of a thing, but then when it gets to every single day, it's like you just. Yeah, it. for sure. Um, so yeah, then it, it pretty much dies off. After. Yeah. After uh, May, it oh. starts out very. I'm very it starts excited. Out so good. Yes. I'm very excited in the beginning to yeah. use this book. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just dead for a period. Uh, so. Pain. Uh, so those different things I do. Oh. But there's also still some planning too. Yeah. So a lot of that. I love that though. And it's, I feel like I feel like part of the fun of a planner is just like the challenge of keeping up with it. So mm -hmm. it's okay. Yeah. Everybody needs to just relax about the, the stress yeah. they put on themselves to keep up with their planners. <laughs> it's okay. I think it's I, I blame it on the internet. Because we've seen so you many see like, the, yeah. nice looking planner yeah. flip throughs and yeah. like, you feel bad that yours doesn't look like that. Yeah. Hopefully but this is a real planner. Like, yeah. These, there is empty space in a real planner yeah. and it's okay. Yeah. So it gets it gets like empty after after May. There's some. I try. Yeah. And then I to pull back into not doing it. It waxes again. and it weaves. Mm -hmm. It's okay. And so. Oh, after, and then you're doing some pencil here too. Yeah. I, just, I don't know why. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like using pencil. I don't know why I started to use pencil. Um, I think the smudging was kind of annoying me because I was using Noodler's ink in this. Oh, okay. And it was taking like. 30 minutes to dry. It's the paper too in this, mm -hmm. in this notebook. It takes yeah. a long time the to dry. The paper takes so long. With an ink that mm -hmm. takes a long time to dry, it's not a mm -hmm. good combo. Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much, so I did Cute. this last year. Okay. I realized, okay, that was really stressful. Yeah. <laughs> I was in a constant state of stress the entire year. So I was like, oh my God, I have to fill out my planner today. Right, right. <laughs> Uh, I didn't do yesterday. I have to Aww. do that too. Yeah. yeah. So you get for so you have a 2024 planner yeah. looking to the year so, ahead. Yeah. This year I didn't. So I was like, I'm just not gonna do this. So this year I tried to use like a digital planner to like log everything. Uh -huh. And then I was like, mm, I don't know if I like really like this. Yeah. And then, you kind of miss having something yeah. to write in. And so then Yoseka came out with their like, here's our planner release for the year. And I looked at I looked at the website for maybe a month. Like wow. every day. Wow. <laughs> every day I would log on and I'd be like, ooh, look at what planners they have. That one's so nice. But no. I'm not gonna use it. Right, 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 right. <laughs> like so, no more daily planners. Yeah. Even like to my friends, I'd be like, 
planner <laughs> question mark because <laughs> like, I have a friend who's really into using um, Hobonichi tattoos oh and so they get one every year and they're like really into Hobonichi they use this one the um, A6 they, I think they use A6 yeah and okay. they they like even go into like Facebook groups to like find like Japan only it releases okay, yeah, for yeah, covers yeah, and yeah. everything that's a thing yeah um, so I was just like talking to her like trying to get her to convince me to get one <laughs> And so I caved. And so I caved and I bought one for next year. Okay, and it's, this one mm -hmm. is not a daily planner. Yeah, so maybe like, this format will I work try better for you. weekly because it's less stressful. Yeah. And I can carry it around and it's cheaper ish. Actually, no, I think it's the same price. Oh, I don't uh, know. But, anyways, so this is the red one and it's got That's a. That's so funny. We had um, somebody, we did like an Instagram live countdown to mm -hmm. the release and somebody asked us to try on this exact combination of mm. this cover and this uh, book, this yeah. week's, and we did it and we realized it looks so good together. Yeah. And you did it! Mm -hmm. You did yeah. it without needing that! I did it, well actually on the website I think it shows the red Oh, way. is that why? But okay, I was also, okay. I was anal an like analyzing, I was like, okay, look at all these icons. Right. And like, there's more yellow and blue, so if I get a yellow or blue, it's like not gonna be not gonna visible. show up. So yeah, like, so red is like red. the perfect contrast mm -hmm. to show all of yeah, those. And the so purple, cute. the purple ones I think have been sold out by then. Oh, yeah, I see. The purple ones. Those are cute. Anyways, so I got this and I've been very, very excited to use this. So this is the Hobonichi mm -hmm. Weeks and yeah. it's, it's the Weeks, not the Mega, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. this is just a regular Weeks. Okay. Um, 2024. It starts in December. Okay, but. And I got, so I got <laughs> this like end of September, I guess. And I was like, no, oh, I want to use this so bad. <laughs> I want to use it now. And so then I decided to <laughs> make my own in the back because I never use the back note pages. Right. So I decided to make my own in the back so I could start using it already. Oh my God. So you started literally like September. Yes. Like right. Basically right when you got it. When I got it. And so I just, okay, this one I measured wrong because I can't count because I'm kind of bad at Oh, so it's off? So I was like, though. I was like, I'm gonna do it exactly like this so mm. I can get used to the space and everything, you know? Wow. Uh, and then for this one, I was like, okay, there's six for each one. And for some reason, I was like, five, six, seven, oh. six, six. <laughs> <laughs> I was focused so hard too. And then I looked at it and I was like, wait, what? So this one's off, but then from here on, here on is good. Oh, and then you mm -hmm. decided to go with like, instead of the lines, just like the dots. Yeah. Cause you it, didn't want it, it broken up for you. Yeah, it does yeah. the dots anyways. So then I did that. So now, I'm loving it so far. Wow, that's great. And you and like when the new year comes mm -hmm. and you don't have to draw in the boxes anymore, it'll be <laughs> it'll be like this is a breeze. Exactly. Like this is nothing. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so since I switched over to the carbon platinum dark ink, ink yeah, yeah, the carbon black, yeah. Yeah, it, it dries a lot quicker actually than the noodlers, so okay. I've been really enjoying how smooth oh, the, the tumble river paper is, yeah. Because oh. for a while I was like, oh, I like the Midori paper better because it has more tooth and it's like cream and oh, it's nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. But now I'm like, oh, actually maybe I'll get like a tumble river, just notebook. Notebook. And it's like, mm -hmm. Because you like it with the carbon black. Yeah, it's really nice with the carbon oh, black. Oh, yeah. okay, that's a good insight. Yeah, so that, that's my. But my now I'm like worried. Are you gonna have enough pages I for the counted. year? You did. <laughs> I count. <laughs> you I'm kind of like, out. yeah, like, I'm a very <laughs> anxious person. Yeah. So I even did this in the back too, so I would have still have all this note paper, and I wouldn't feel stressed about seeing. Oh, this. you count. You pre counted. I pre counted. Okay. There was ten weeks left, so wow. there's ten pages left oh, until perfect. it starts. So. And did you know it starts like November. Yeah, it starts okay. like November. Okay, good. It's all been planned. It's all been planned. Wow. wow. Master plan. This is there. so cute. Yeah, so that's my makeshift planner. So now are you, so you are, so you use this as like combo plan log, right? Yeah, it's mainly just for planning. For logging, I use, should I pull it up? Yeah, sure. For logging, I've been using, I bought the five year diary oh, this the year. Five year Midori. Yeah, I bought this instead. Cause I was like, since I was using Oh, and red and red. Yeah, I like red. <laughs> was that planned? <laughs> I was I was gonna try to get another color, but the red looks so good with this cover mm, cover. I yeah, just, yeah, I can't resist. So I decided to use this instead of the Techo um, in terms of logging. Yeah. So this one is like, there's also blotting paper here. Mm -hmm. And so I'll just like note each day, like, things that happen with like a little drawing, like what we did, 
So this I've kept up with because it's just like four lines. There you go. Yeah. And so it's a lot easier. I see. And I like this because then next year I'm gonna get to see exactly what I did. That's on that what's day. The, like mm -hmm. that's what's keeping me going in my five year, but yeah. it's hard. It's <laughs> really the first year. I think the first year is that's the hardest. I've said that yeah. so many times. The yeah, first yeah. year is the hardest because mm -hmm. you're just like you open up to this blank page, mm -hmm. yeah. and it's very daunting. And I think that's what makes the weeks fun. Is mm -hmm. like you get rewarded throughout your week <laughs> seeing what you did yeah. yesterday and mm -hmm. like just two days ago. Mm -hmm. But um, five year, I I, I salute you. You. Yeah, did we'll you start see. January? I did start January. Oh, so. wow. Okay. In the beginning, I didn't draw in this because I was lame. Um, <laughs> then I was hating and dreading like writing in it. And then I realized I just needed to like do a little drawing and then I was looking forward to yeah, it. Yeah, what day. are you doing not drawing? I That's know. what you do best. I know. So, But I have been filling it out. That's great. I don't think I've missed any days so far. That's so cute. And you don't do stickers or anything in there. You just no. do like pen and ink. Yeah, um, just little pen and ink. Yeah little drawings yeah so that's that's it yay oh my gosh cool you are you are such a you are such a stationary a hoarder. hoarder no I'm just there's kidding. way more of my there's, bookshelf no yeah and we are actually like you need to meet more of our team members later so. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah so thank you so much Leanne it was I had so much fun sitting down with you and Me looking too. through all of your stuff and I just really I love the opportunity of looking at how other people use their planners yeah. and their pens and stuff. So I hope all of you guys enjoyed looking at how Leanne uses some of her fountain pens and markers and how she's how she's gone through a journey with Hobonichi <laughs> and wish her luck in her 2024 yes. journey. Yes. Yes. I we'll can all, do it. I can all, do we it. We can all do it. Yes. We can all do it. Yes. <laughs> and we all need to just relax. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just relax. a book, you it's know. Book. Yeah. I keep saying to myself. So I'm like, it's just a book, Leah. No. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's about it for this video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. You guys should all go out and buy O oh Olive. It's such a good book um, for yourself. Honestly, um, a lot of Leanne's books like have been more entertaining for me than anything else because like <laughs> I crack up reading them to Jacob because sometimes like when I, when he started reading them, he was only like one mm, yeah. and he didn't get all the humor in them. But like, for me, I was like, oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> um, so you'll have a great time reading it. Your kids will have a great time reading it. Your nieces, your nephews or whatever. Um, so support Leanne. She's wonderful. We love her. I hope you were all super inspired by her <laughs> pens and her planners and her sketchbooks. And um, yeah, we Hope to see you again. Um, maybe we'll do some more partnerships together. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm always in the store. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Bye.